that's what we have underneath. Three triangles. But now this is the slide. So if you save yeah. again. Boom. <laughs> it's got to think about it, but it can do it. <laughs> yeah. And how many before it crashes? Okay, so let's see. Let's keep going. Is it taking longer each time? Each time it takes longer. And it's interesting because all, all I'm doing, according to the text of the, yeah. of the instructions, is uh, pasting an image. And if I, like, if I right click on this and do, you know, uh, save as. Yeah, it's just, it's just an image. Yeah, and it saves as a, as a, um, a PNG on, on my computer. And it's a very small image. Save again. Yeah, save again. Sorry, let's keep, keep the saves going. Pinwheel of death, look. Yeah. Yeah, so it shouldn't be that. And then, you, yeah. but then even look now, it's trying to render it. And it's not going to do it for a while. And no, it's thinking it's again. Do it. And so I was thinking, maybe uh, it's saving the image loads and loads of time. Oh, it's done it. So if Save you. Save again. Yeah, let's do that. Was oh, I going to break it? Oops. Yeah, it might do. But let's go into here. So I saved that as T. Yeah. Look, it's not a big file. 84 kilobyte. Not, not big at all. So there can't be a large image embedded in it. No, it's like a massive bitmap or something. Yeah. But maybe you, didn't, maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Um, uh, a PowerPoint presentation file is actually an archive. So it's essentially a zip, zip file, yeah. right? So I can open that with uh, free and open source uh, 7 zip. Because even though I don't use PowerPoint, I've been known to use Excel in my time. Yeah. And you can have some fun turning an Excel file back into a zip folder, messing around with the contents and putting it back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to use 7-zip to uh, open the archive. So open archive. So you're opening this presentation right now yeah. as a zip file. Yeah, so we've got these subfolders in here. Yep. You go into PowerPoint presentation, media, oops, media, and there's one image. One image. One single image, because it, and it's repeated three EMF. times. Dot .emf. Now, dot .emf is a weird file format. It's um, it's a, a mixture between a vector graphics and bitmap graphics. Uh, and so I can open this in um, Adobe Illustrator because it's vector graphics. Right. Look at the size of it. It's two, two. megabytes. Um, but there's so much redundancy that you that can compress. when you compre zip it, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah, it. because it's literally just the same it's thing the same again and again and again. again. And so presumably the zipping algorithm is aware of all the recursion that's in there and it can zip it. Um, but if I do, if I open it in uh, Adobe Illustrator, you'll, you'll see where the complexity comes from. So look, if we look at the layers involved in this image, look, there's just Layer. sub layers. layers. So every time there's two sub layers, but within each sublayer, there's two sublayers because these are the triangles within triangles. Oh, right, right. So it's not just an image, it's yeah. this embedded layers yeah, in the yeah. file. And yeah, you know, eventually you might get down to the actual. <laughs> so that's why it's. So it's that's the complexity. Just because something's small doesn't mean it's not complex. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, so it's this, this complexity, and I've only opened like, you know, one, one leg. Yeah. Um, should we go and see if PowerPoint's finished? With that it's most recent save. Oh, oh, oh. It was and it crashed. I saw it for a second. It's this one. Oh, it was there. Oh, you might. <laughs> it's the, the, the saving gets really hard, but also the drawing of it gets really hard as well. Um, I think we may. It was there for. You saw it. We'll get a slow mo replay. Okay. It was there for a <laughs> fraction of a second. With that most recent save. Yes, it is. that's it. So oh, we've, we've so got good. one more level. Try for one more. One more, one more. Okay. Yeah. We might have to give up on this one. Yeah. Okay, so while Steve's restarting PowerPoint, <laughs> we were considering doing the Sapinski carpet, which is like the uh, the manga sponge yeah. squares. So you take a square and you take out the middle ninth, and then you repeat, which can be done in PowerPoint. So we'll leave that as a challenge for the viewer. Give it a go. Uh, you need the right version of PowerPoint. Well, well I first did this a month ago. Uh, Worked fine. Yeah. And when we got together today, it stopped working. I had to downgrade. So if you're on Office 365, you need to make sure that you're on version 16.0.11328.20222. Um, we'll put that, can you copy and paste that? We'll put that at the bottom of the screen. That's the version that seems to work. Yeah, and, and this is the command that you run to, to downgrade your uh, version of Office. Uh, we'll put that in the description as well. 
um, and where to go within the file system to do that. Uh, and some videos, people think, would this be too much detail? No, no, no. So, um, if you want to watch the main video of Steve and I making fractals in PowerPoint, you can do that on my primary channel. Although to be fair, if you're watching this, you've probably watched that already. So um, I don't know. Um, while you're here, you can subscribe to my second channel. This is where I put all the videos, which I think are too tedious or technical or potentially off topic to be of any interest to those uh, mainstream losers who subscribe to my main channel. This is for you niche dedicated people on the second channel.